Hello, it's Reya and welcome to another video. Well, it is that time of the year again when the magical readathon rolls around with the owls portion of the year and I have been participating in this readathon ever since it first got started, so I'm not gonna miss a year, even if I have to write my thesis anyway. Uh, so this year I am going to be a culinary sorcerer, but I'm also going to be participating in the Classic SFF Readathon Women Write Classic SFF Edition, which is hosted by Maya Reads. So two readathons for the price of one, count me in. So first I'm going to be going over my Owls Readathon TBR and then I'm going to quickly go over the books that I'm planning to read for the classic SFF Readathon. Both of the announcement videos for these readathons will be linked in the description if you want to uh, check them out and maybe participate yourself. So let's get started. So I'm going to be a culinary sorcerer with also um, a seminar for being an animage. So I am going to be a culinary sorcerer that has the ability to transform into an animal. Most likely some sort of bird or a hedgehog. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, first prompt that I will have to complete is arithmancy, which is to read a book that is outside of your usual genre. And I'm going to twist this prompt a little bit because uh, How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin is definitely speculative fiction and it has both fantasy and science fiction stories in it. Um, but it definitely falls into that side of SFF which I don't usually gravitate towards and that is short story collections. I have a bunch of short, short story collections on my shelves but I never reach out for them, I never read them. So this time I want to make sure that I will read at least one story per day and maybe that way I can get my mojo back and finally get some short stories read, you know. So yeah, how long till Black Future Month is going to fill my arithmancy prompt. The next uh, subject that I have to complete is Charms, which is Lumos Maxima, a book with a white cover. And for that I am going to be reading Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. This is an alternative history, uh, time traveling, speculative fiction book. And it's basically about this woman who ends up being sucked back in time to the times when slavery wasn't yet abolished in the United States and all that that entails. That's pretty much the only thing that I know and I can't wait to pick this up. I know so many of my friends have really loved this book and I know that Octavia E. Butler is uh, like a classic author of the genre. The next subject that I have to complete is Herbology, which is to read a book with that starts with an M the title starts with an M, and for that I'm going to be uh, reading Moonshine by Jasmine Gower, and this is about sort of like an alternative 1920s with the whole flapper scene, Harlem Renaissance thing, but it deals with the Prohibition era. And it deals with the idea that what if the thing that was being prohibited wasn't alcohol, but it was like mana, it was, it was the source of magic. And I can't wait to pick this up. Um, I hear that this book has some asexual representation. I know that the author herself identifies as uh, asexual, uh, so uh, I'm very excited to see how I will fare with this book. My next subject is potions, which is to read a book that is under 150 pages. And for this, I am going to be reading The Last Children of Tokyo by Yoko Tabada. And this was translated by Margaret Mitsutani. And uh, this is about a future where 
pollution has caused children to be born with like crippling birth birth defects and like illnesses which means that children do not live very long so it is about this grandparent a grandfather that is taking care of their last grandchild and uh yeah it's very short and s like i almost said sweet but i don't i don't think that it will be very sweet i think it will be bitter sweet and i i just love this whole presentation of this book and I can't wait to pick this up. And finally, for the Animage uh, seminar, I will have to read uh, read an extra book that is for Transfiguration, which is to read a book or a series that includes shapeshifting. And for that, I am going to be picking up Run and the Grey World, Volume 1, by Aki Irie. Uh, this is about this... Um, young girl called Ron, whose father is a shapeshifter and whose brother is a shapeshifter and her mother is one of the most powerful witches in the world and Ron wants to be a powerful witch herself and when she put, puts these uh, magical sneakers on she transforms into, a, into an adult version of herself but um, even though she is physically looks like an adult, she is still a child. And it kind of goes through her magical adventures. And I have been meaning to read this for a long time, and I keep putting it off. But uh, yeah, now, now is finally the time to pick this up. And next I will go over the books that I will be reading for the Women Write Classic Asafath Readathon. The first book that I have is Alana by Tamara Pierce, uh, The First Adventure. This is the first book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet, and this is pretty much a proto-young adult SFF novel that many of my friends have grown up with and loved, and I... I know that even if I won't end up loving this as much as my friends do, I know that I will get a lot, of, a lot out of this and I'm excited to read it just to, you know... N n like, I feel like this is one of those essential reads for, like, uh, SFF and especially, like, uh, SFF writ written by women. So yeah, I'm excited about this. The next book that I have is... Dragon Spain by Bar Barbara Hambly. This is the first book in the Winterlands Quartet, and uh, these new covers were just recently released, and I'm excited about this. And from what I hear, this is about like a middle-aged couple going on a quest, and I find that exciting. Just that alone as a premise, I I find that having like older characters is something that I really crave and yeah looking forward to this and then of course Kindred by Octavia E. Butler also fits with the women right classic SFF readathon uh, it, it is written by a woman it is written uh, before like way before 2000 and uh, yeah I'm uh, also like putting that in here and if I for some like miracle manage to read all of these books then if i have time i will start my reread of the riverside series and i will be reading um swords point by ellen kushner which is one of my favorite books of all time as you probably already know and yeah there you have it uh those are all of the books that i'm planning on reading uh to achieve my status as a culinary sorcerer for the owls and for the women write classic sff readathon uh, are you planning on participating in either of these readathons if you are what books are you going to be reading are you going to be reading any of the same books as i am and if you reached this far in the video uh, please leave a crystal ball emoji down in the comments to let me know that you are here. And I will see you in another video very soon. Bye bye!